As we consider 1 Samuel 26 today, there are two principles related to how we approach decisions, especially when we find ourselves in unexpected or challenging circumstances. Principle number one, often we can exchange what we want most for what we want in the moment. Principle number two, decisions made in the moment are usually moments we end up regretting. You see, if we don't determine what our decision is going to be before we get in the moment, well, then we might and most probably are going to make a poor choice. You see, in 1 Samuel 26, David finds himself with a second opportunity to kill King Saul. And the circumstances and the people around David would have made killing Saul even seem like the obvious choice. But David, David knew that God commanded otherwise. Look with me, if you would, in this chapter, starting in verse 7. It says, So David and Abishai went right into Saul's camp and found him asleep, with his spear stuck in the ground beside his head. Abner and the soldiers were lying asleep around him. God has surely handed your enemy over to you this time, Abishai whispered to David. Let me pin him to the ground with one thrust of the spear. I won't even need to strike twice. No, David said, don't kill him, for who can remain innocent after attacking the Lord's anointed one? Surely the Lord will strike Saul down someday, or he will die of old age or in battle. You see, before the situation presented itself, David had already determined in his mind and in his heart what he was going to do. Why? Well, decisions made in the moment are usually moments we end up regretting. And often we can exchange what we want most for what we want in the moment. So let me encourage you today that just like David did, commit ahead of time to putting God's commands first in your life. It's like David wrote in Psalm 37, trust in the Lord and do good. Then you will live safely in the land and prosper.